Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. And today is a movie review. This is a horror movie review, um, a movie that I have been anticipating since watching the trailer for the first time on Christmas Day last year. Uh, to say that I'm a fan of Jordan Peele would be an understatement. Um, as I said in my previous video where I talked about his first uh, directorial effort, uh, Get Out, um, I think he's a master craftsman, storyteller, uh, fantastic director, someone that really knows how to build tension and suspense um, while keeping his audience engaged in the characters. It's all genuine, everything feels 100%. I loved Get Out and I was really anticipating his sophomore effort. When I watched the trailer for Us, I was transfixed. I was just curious as to what the story was possibly gonna be about. One thing I loved about the um, advertising and the ad campaigns for the film is that everything was very much ambiguous outside of a few little plot threads that they weaved into the trailer and kind of the overall synopsis which just plays upon you know a family that's vacationing in Santa Cruz um, and uh, they are visited one night by doppelgangers of themselves and that's pretty much where I want to leave it I really don't want to give too many more plot details because I purposely stayed away from most reviews for this film if they were spoiler free i kind of you know read them there was a couple that were on like horror sites that i visit like arrow in the head um but for the most part i stayed away from any reviews because i wanted to experience this thing for myself uh first thing i want to talk about before getting into my thoughts on the film is the cast now you have lupita nyong'o as Adelaide, you have Winston Duke as Gabe, you have Shahadi White Joseph as Zora, and Evan Alex as Jason. So Adelaide and Gabe are the parents, and Zora and Jason are the children. You also have Elizabeth Moss as Kitty, and John Haldecker as Josh. Um, the movie was written, produced, and directed by Jordan Peele. So what are my thoughts on Us? Did it live up to the hype? Was it overhyped? And I can, I can honestly say that this movie has stuck with me after seeing it. I watched it about six hours ago, and it freaked me out. I'm not going to say it's the scariest film that I've ever seen, but after my wife and I left the theater, we were in the car talking about it, and it just got under our skin. It makes you question the people around you. Um, it's, it's, I don't want to give too many things away, but it just really, it's about kind of the duality of human beings, and it really just, the imagery, the storytelling, it just really affected me. It was slow, it was methodical. The more that you started to unravel what was going on as the plot went on, um, it just, it, it, it made you tense. And afterwards, I just, I had a, it just, it, it stayed with me. And it freaked me the fuck out. Um, the acting in this is brilliant. Judy um, Nyong'o, I will say this is one of the best performances I've ever seen in a horror film. She stole the movie. She was absolutely fantastic in this film. Captivating from the first time you see her through this ordeal with her family and these things, these, these copies of themselves that are stalking them. Just riveting performance. She so deserves an award for this film. She blew me away. I also love Winston Duke as Gabe. A very different performance. I've only seen him in Black Panther and the Avengers uh, Infinity War movies, but he was great because he just played against type. You think he's going to be this really big tough badass and he's just really, he's a dad. I mean, he really brought that home and really made him a very grounded character. And you believe that this guy is a dad. And uh, just I loved his interaction with the kids, or and Jason. Uh, they both were fantastic as well. Both actors uh, did a terrific job. I loved, there's like little touches in this film, little homages to things that I don't want to spoil, but they're things that I picked up on growing up, loving horror, and I loved that he peppered them into this film. Also, the fact that the film was shot in Santa Cruz, it's really close to me. I mean, it's not right next to me, but I've been there, and in fact, I was there last year. And it probably was right, was right after they shot this film. But just knowing that they shot this film there, and I remember being a little kid, about 12 years old, when The Lost Boys was shot there. And just it was just so awesome seeing Santa Cruz on the big screen. 
and the utilization that of the of the park in this film jordan peele does a fantastic job also the fact that he wrote and produced this film as well as directing it he is just amazing to me i know not everybody's going to love this film but for the people that are always bitching about something original something different this film is different this film will get under your skin if you just allow the storytelling to take place and not go in with these preconceived expectations of what's going to be scary and what you want to get out of this film just go in expecting to be taken on a journey from a master storyteller like jordan peele i absolutely loved us i'm not going to give any more details about what regards to the plot because i like i said i don't want anything spoiled from this review all i can say is that i fucking loved it and before i forget the music by michael abels who also did get out fucking fantastic and there's uses of you know, of course, in the in the trailer, the use of I've Got Five on it by the Loonies, which was a song that I grew up loving. And there's also a couple of other songs that are used that are all done so perfectly, as well as the score that has that haunting and of chorus like score, very similar to um, what was used in Get Out. It just stays with you. Um, but yeah, this film freaked me out. Um, I can't. I cannot uh, exp I wish I could express more about how it why it freaked me out, but it really did. Um, a lot of people are saying that the ending is predictable. My wife actually kind of picked up on where the movie was going. I thought it was going a different way, so I can't say that it was predictable at all. Uh, it just depends on how you think things are going to play out um, as the story progresses. But I was surprised by what they did, but it makes sense to me. And uh, I think this film is brilliant. It's my favorite film of the year so far. And I am so looking forward to what Jordan Peele does next. Cannot recommend this film enough. If people want to go out and experience something different, please go check out us. I'm easily giving this movie five skulls. So thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I really appreciate uh, people supporting uh, when I do reviews on this channel. Um, those are kind of some of my least watched videos. Um, I'm toying with the idea of just doing really quick little um, review videos on my Instagram page through my IGTV account. Because for some reason, I just don't... I, there's so many people doing movie reviews here on YouTube. And I feel like, you know, mine just maybe aren't as interesting as some other people's. I'm curious if people like them. So if you guys could give me some feedback on what you think about my movie reviews, that would really uh, be helpful to me. I always try to err on the side of positive, and I don't go into trash things at all. I try to keep things positive on this channel. If I don't like something, I just say I don't like it. I don't try to trash everything about it. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I would just really love to hear people's feedback because, like I said, I'm toying with this, this idea and keeping this strictly about toys and maybe I'll do retrospectives where I talk about movies I already like instead of giving them reviews. I just talk about what I like about them. But like I said, you know, just trying to do things different here on the channel. Um, and yeah, please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys have seen us, uh, please do not put, put spoilers down there because I really want to keep things spoiler free since the movie has just opened and I don't want uh, people to check out, you know, the comment section and have, you know, a major plot point blown for them. Um, also, remember, House of Mysterious Secrets have a partnership going on with them. Uh, use the code HZone where you can get 10% off. It's a one-time only use, but you get 10% off your entire order. Like I said, a lot of cool stuff in this room, like the Jason Voorhees Bursta Box is from House of Mysterious Secrets. They have amazing collectibles there. Kevin who runs the site is an awesome guy. Um, and uh, you guys can pick up some really cool stuff. Like I said, I, I get so much stuff from them. I've been buying from them for nine years. Uh, awesome guy. Help him out. Use the code HZone down below. Um, thanks so much again for watching, and stay tuned for some great stuff coming up real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace. When I have a Patreon page, if everybody wants to help support me, the link is down below. And if you do help support me, Dracula here will get more treats, and Dracula really loves his treats. So any support that you can give me would be very, very much appreciated. Right, Drac? Yeah.